All right, today I'm going to be frying up some brown anoles in Central Florida, and this is an invasive species, so I'm also doing my part to help the environment. So I have a female and a male. I'll go ahead and put the uh, female in the pan. All I have is olive oil because I found that These anoles don't need to be seasoned. They taste good. They actually taste like they're seasoned. With... <clears throat> Without putting on salt or, or pepper or anything. So, we're going to the frying pan. And they're kind of taken over from the, the American, sometimes called green anoles. Fence lizards, six lined racers. Everything's kind of hurting because these, these things have taken over. So, I found they actually taste really good. So, I'm going to go ahead and fry them up. Just olive oil, they're not breaded. I didn't have to gut them. And like I said, no seasoning. Okay, I'm gonna flip them again. Quite simple. And actually, I caught these in my backyard. As you can see, it doesn't take that long to cook them. Alright, I, I turned the heat off. So it's been about three minutes. I don't quite know the temperature, but I had it a little above medium. Trying to make sure that it's all the way through. And I've done this before, and they, they actually taste excellent. Kind of a mixture of like fish and chicken. And actually, when I caught them, I, I caught them in a, in a bag that, um, or it's like a net. Um, and I just put them in the freezer. Um, I don't like to, you know, torture them. I just like let them freeze. Then I let them thaw out. And then I just fry them with olive oil. 
and I already know they taste good. I've had them before. They're excellent. So I'm going to go ahead and stop the video and if anyone's interested in helping the environment in this way by eating invasive species um, with brown and old, this is all you have to do. All right, have a great evening.